It's that time of year. All right, keep dribbling, let's go. Student athletes are getting ready for their season to begin. They're taking all the right steps get ready, get ready, get ready. to be ready on game day. Parents also have steps to take as students head back to school. Samantha, come here and bring your tablet, please. New this year is the Starting School Checklist, available online through the Skyward Family Access page. Here you go. Here. Sit down so that we can log on to Skyward and check your to-do list for back to school. Using a laptop, desktop, or tablet will make this much easier than on your phone. You can even use your student's district-issued device if needed. To begin, sign into your Skyward Family Access account. If you've never done it before, you'll need your login and password information from your child's school. If you forgot your password, simply click the blue Forgot Login Password link then check your email to reset it. Once you're logged in, find the menu on the left side of the screen. Click on the Annual Student Information Updates tab. A new window opens to show each of your students enrolled in the district. You'll need to click on each student's name to update their information, then click Next. The list of tasks you'll need to do is on the right side of the page. First on the list is the Parent Handbook. This needs to be reviewed every year. When done, type your name in the signature box and click Complete Step at the bottom of the page. Next, look over the information listed for your student. Make any changes to phone numbers, address, or email and check your emergency contacts. When finished, hit the Complete button at the bottom of the page. Keep in mind you'll need to do this for each of your students. The next two forms ask about military affiliation and necessary information. If you are not a military family, simply click the No in the drop-down box at the top right of your screen. If you are military, please answer the questions below. Make sure to click the Complete button each time to mark off your task. New this year, the number of choices has been expanded when completing your ethnicity and race form. Once you've made your selection, scroll back to the top and click the Save button on the right. Up next is the Food Service form. This is where you'll fill out your application for free or reduced price meals. The state uses this information to provide additional resources to families and students, so it's important to fill it out yearly. If you don't qualify, you can opt out. Otherwise, complete the form, Scroll down to the bottom to type your name in the signature box and click Next. The next form may help your student qualify for scholarships, free college applications, and lower fees if they're eligible for free or reduced price lunch. However, if you checked No on the previous form, click Not Applicable in the drop-down. Next up is the Health Information form. Click View Full Screen at the top right to see all the questions. Fill out the form, then click Complete. Finally, last form. Here you'll see all your completed tasks. You just need to click the Submit button and you're done. Wow, those are a lot. High five. Yay! If you forgot something, it will show up with a red X as Not Completed. Just go back and finish. Warriors on three! One, two, three, Warriors! High five, high five! Woo! Congratulations! Give yourself a high five! You just nice completed job. your Skyward Starting School Checklist.